say you might as well roll up a big head Gonna fall down like a big dread That sticky icky green with the orange head Blowing tampy smoke signals in the air Hey, hey, low pack kick back in the chair Shout out to my smokers everywhere Everywhere for my first joint with my cousin, yeah Just had some bad white widow stripper on us, yeah Give thanks to Jad Dicey, another year, another year Still try and make it to the dirty, yeah I be maneuvering now through them cutties, yeah The only way to go is up for me Just know we stacking them rocks to the mountain top They call me Yaddy, I'm not Jamaican, bitch, I'm from the rock My brethren's really out here grinding, run the clock Tunnel vision to the money, I ain't looking back I was repping, we be piling under the tropic sun Going speed racer all on the waterfront Babylon boys passing, we still sparking up Budget nylon, yeah, we in this mother skunk Bunny pop, no pills, half a half a joint, half a joint Accent, quick to wet your girl up Can't wait to get a motherfucking tour bus We coming to fuck shit up from poor bus So, let me switch over to this bad boy real quick Boom, easy death so first thing you're gonna wanna do, as per the video that I learned how to do this from, we're going to download an application called Rufus to create bootable USB drives. Uh, we're not going to be uh, making our uh, our chip bootable, but uh, that's how I learned how to do it. This is the application used. I actually already formatted the card that I'll be using today, but I'll, I'll uh, quick format it again using this application with the settings he he showed in his video. But you're gonna go to Rufus, uh, the website. Uh, link in the description. You're gonna scroll down, and then you're going to click on this link right here. The bold letters Rufus 3.4 uh, or whatever version it is at the time you end up watching this video. The second thing is the files we're gonna actually put onto the the uh, card and that's gonna be from the R4 website you're gonna download the kernel <coughs> excuse me and this was uh, the kernel was updated two years ago uh, December 13th 2016 uh, actually no three years ago my bad we're in uh, 2019 January 2019 but anyway so you're gonna select whatever language download the kernel boom minimize this minimize this and this is from when I was uh, formatting. So here are the files that we will be moving over to the SD card. When you uh, download from the R4 website, you should get a zipped folder. And that uh, zipped folder will contain these four little files, three folders and then uh, R4, it's a DAT file. And uh, basically, let me just go up so you can see. So this is what your uh, download will look like. And you'll just extract this. Boom. Easy death. So you're going to go in here. Take all of these files. And then you want to copy them over to uh, your SD card. This is it here, a USB drive. It's just not named. But anyway. You're gonna copy it over, and uh, keep in mind I have not uh, actually tested this yet. I don't even know if it'll work on my 3DS because in the video he was using a DSi, I believe. So I don't even know if this is gonna work for the 3DS, but we'll see. And if it doesn't, hey, oh well. But anyway, so while that's copying, boom, we're gonna go over. To... So basically, yeah, Rufus. This was only used to format the card that we're using, basically. I used a Windows format. I'm sure it's the same thing. He didn't put in anything special with this. But I'm going to try it for the sake of time. I'm going to oh, make sure you eject, by the way safely ejected so I'm going to try for the sake of this video to let me 
me just get these up so you can see what they look like. And let me go to desktop. Games. Yeah, I already have some uh, files downloaded. These are not, none of these are uh, 3DS games. Uh, I'll be trying that later. But I mean, if you could get the NDS games to work on it, I don't see why the 3DS games don't work on the 3DS. So, boom. Going to take the SD card that our uh, files are on, our files from the R4 website, we're going to insert it. Sorry about that, people. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to edit that out. If not, if it's not too time-consuming, I'll just leave it, and I don't really care. My uh, <clears throat> my camera ran out of uh, memory. I'm assuming. So boom, let me just eject this. Put this back. And honestly, I forgot. So it would have been silly anyway. I forgot to copy over some ROMs, so I'll do that right now. And by the way, I'm not, I already used the, um, I already used the little uh, USB that came with the, uh, the R4 to copy these files. Let me just check to see that they're on it, because I don't want to, I don't know why it ejected like that. So boy. Saying please insert a disc. Oh boy, this is some bullshit. Goodness. I'm gonna take this. I'm going back to the um the USB that was supplied with the uh the R4. USB drive F. Of course it's all there. Going to copy over two ROMs just for a demonstration set. Games folder. We'll see if uh, Dragon Ball Z and uh, Advanced Wars could copy over. So, copy them. Go back to the USB. And from his video, we're told to put them on the root of the device. So, I'll just do that. Put them on the root. And by the root, it just means don't go into any folders before you uh, copy it. Just copy it straight onto the device. So we're going to do that and put everything on the root. So Advanced Wars and now, boom, Dragon Ball Z. And again, eject it. Now we're going to hop right back over to the camera and try and see if it works. So here it is. Um, we put the uh, R4 into the 3DS uh, right here on the bottom. I actually had to use a little bit of force to get it in there. It, it wasn't like it, it was like it didn't want to um, click into place. But anyway, it's right now reading as Bomberman Land. We're going to click on it and hopefully it runs. Hopefully it shows us our ROMs, our two ROMs on there. So it's reading as Bomberman Land. And Looks like it's loading or something. Boom, easy day. And we got it to work. So I did not format it with uh, Rufus. I simply used the uh, Windows, the Windows format. Let's see. Oh no, it did something weird. Oh, okay, boom. So just go to game. And wow, the games are right there. Dragon Ball Z and Advanced Wars. Uh, oh shit, sorry about that people. So, 
as you can see right there, we got Dragon Ball Z Super Sonic Warriors, and we got Advanced Wars for the DS, and I'll, I'm sure, I'm assuming it works for the 3DS ROMs as well, but uh, there you go. So first you want to format your uh, SD card. After you format your SD card, you just want to copy those four files over to it, and that's it. Thanks for watching.